Teresa Carreño. Today, we're going to learn more about her. I mean, who is she? Well, let's find out. Here's a picture of Teresa from when she was just eight years old in the United States of America. She was giving a concert at the Irving Hall in New York City. It was a huge concert hall, and she performed for hundreds of people. Audiences loved the little girl who could play piano so well. Let's go back to the beginning of Teresa's story. She was born on December 22, 1853, in Caracas, Venezuela. Do you know where Venezuela is? Well, here's where we are in the United States of America, and this is Venezuela. Venezuela is a country on the northern coast of the continent of South America. Venezuela is a beautiful country. There are lots of tropical beaches and lots of beautiful mountains, perfect for hiking and climbing and walking. Do you want to know a fun fact about Venezuela? I think this is really cool. Venezuela is home to Angel Falls. This is the largest waterfall in the whole world. It has the longest uninterrupted fall of water. Look how far it goes down. <laughs> I would love to visit Angel Falls someday. Wouldn't you? Well, I think we're a little off topic. Let's get back to the piano and back to Teresa Carreño. In Venezuela, she took piano lessons from her father. Yeah, her dad taught her. His name was Manuel Antonio Carreño. It wasn't long before Teresa could play the piano better than him. And she was writing her own songs. Imagine writing music at six years old. That's what Teresa did. She was a child prodigy. Have you ever heard that term? A child prodigy is a child with exceptional qualities or abilities. A child who is able to do things that most adults can't even do. That was Teresa Carreño. Now, growing up in Venezuela was a little unsafe. There was a war going on, so Teresa's family decided to leave Venezuela and come to the United States of America. Teresa and her family immigrated to America. Teresa Carreño was an immigrant. Do you know the word immigrant? An immigrant is a person who leaves the country of their birth to live in a different country. Teresa Carreño was an immigrant. She came to New York. Remember we said she gave that awesome concert at Irving Hall? Then I think this is awesome. She came to Massachusetts. She gave a concert in Boston and soon people all over were inviting the little girl to come and give piano concerts. She traveled to Rhode Island, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, even Washington DC. She performed in a concert for the 16th President of the United States, President Abraham Lincoln. So she started in Venezuela, moved to America, gave concerts, and then did a tour of Europe. She put on piano concerts in France, Spain, England, and Scotland. She was turning into a pretty famous, world famous, piano player. But the whole time she was taking piano lessons and practicing and getting better and better. As an adult, she started taking singing lessons and became a pretty famous opera singer. She's a composer, a pianist, a singer, and a music teacher. She gave piano lessons. She was also a mother. Here is a picture of her with four of her children. Her oldest daughter was named Teresita. Teresita started taking piano lessons from her mother and soon gave concerts all over the world too. She was a famous piano player just like her mother. When Teresa was grown up, she was invited back to the White House, this time to perform for the 28th President of the United States, President Woodrow Wilson. The whole time she's performing and writing music, the song we're listening to right now is one of her songs. She called it Un Valle en Sueños. That's Spanish. And in English, 
It means a ball in dreams, dreaming of a beautiful ballroom. I hope you enjoyed listening to Teresa's song and learning more about her. Thanks for watching.